Well, it appears the Obamas are closing in on their choice for first dog. Here to tell us about the two breeds on the short list, our resident veterinarian, Dr. Debbie Turner-Bell. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, who, Look at you. You can't take your, I, your hands off of her, can you? She's so soft. Tell me what kind of dog Hestia is here. This is Hestia. She is a Portuguese water dog. And that's from a working group. These dogs were bred to work with fishermen off the coast of Portugal. They would literally go out, help bring in the nets. They would help herd fish, if you can believe it, and guard the catch after they were brought after they were brought on the dog. So this truly is a working dog that needs a job. Hestia actually is a champion agility dog and um, is, is a good swimmer too. So they either come in black or white or? They come in black, brown, or, or party color, which means they're a little bit of black, a little bit of brown. But this is the very typical appearance of a Portuguese water dog. And if you'll notice, she's sitting down, you can't tell, but she has what's called a lion cut. Which Should means we try she's and get puffy. her to well, she stands up. Hestia, you Hestia, want to stand? You want to stand? stand? She goes, I choose not to. Hestia's <laughs> so regal right now. It's hard to really see her eyes and see what yeah, she looks like. Yeah, she's because so, she's such a dark color. But um, she's beautiful. Her hips are shaved, which is a common trim for this dog. Makes them easier to swim uh, with. But this is a dog that needs a job, needs a lot of activity. I'm not sure it's the best choice for a first dog. And Why? I don't mean first dog as in presidential dog. But since this is their first dog as a family. Oh. Um, yeah. And they become, you know, any dog becomes destructive if you don't give them the activity that they need and the attention. Hestia that they need. did not like what you said. Hestia was like, <laughs> no, oh, was yeah, mm, I'm just going gonna... to. And, and she's proving me wrong because, look, she's sitting here perfectly calm, but they really do need to work and they need to exercise or they can become a bit of a handful. All right. Now, a here, bit of a handful is. This is Max, who looks like a bit of a handful. And Max is, Max a... is still a bit of a puppy. He's about a 18 labradoodle? months old. A labradoodle, which is a cross between a poodle and a Labrador retriever. And so. They, ha they say that Labradoodles have the best of both breeds, has the gentle nature, the affection. Um, oh, Hestia sees her mom over Hestia, there. Hestia, come here, baby. Of the, of the Labrador Retriever, but the intelligence and the non-shedding or low-shedding <laughs> properties of a poodle. Now, both of these breeds, I think, are on the Obama short list because they're considered hypoallergenic. Now, Julia, I want to point out that there's no such thing as a non-allergenic dog. Really, most people are allergic to a protein in the saliva. So hair doesn't always make a, dif a difference. So it's important for the Obamas to really test the dog out around Malia, their oldest daughter who has asthma and allergy issues, to make sure she's not going to react to the dog. Now, there's been a lot of chatter about whether or not the Obamas would get a rescue or a dog from yes. a shelter. Yes. Can they get either one of these breeds from a, re from a shelter? Let me just say one thing. Now, this is a cross dog. This is not a breed in itself. Labrador, okay. we've kind of come up with that name. But yes, there are rescue organizations for both Labradoodles and for Portuguese water dogs. I know they really want to try to rescue a dog, and I advocate that. I think that's great. If you're going to get a purebred, like a Portuguese water dog, the safest thing to do is to go to a good breeder and get one from a breeder, but they're trying to rescue, and I applaud them for that. But if they do, the best chance is to do a Labrador rescue group or a Portuguese water dog <laughs> rescue group. Now, both of these dogs here are full grown. This is it, right? This is yes. how big they're going yeah, to Max be. Max is kind of bit on the big side, but both of them, their, their uh, sizes are between 40 and 60 pounds. Portuguese water dogs are a little bit smaller than the Labradoodle. Um, you know, the, the females, 35 to 50 pounds. The males are just a little bit larger, and then Labrador doodles can get up to maybe 60, even 70 pounds for the males. So they're big dogs. They're looking at athletic dogs. And of course, they're looking for these dogs that don't shed as much. And if you notice, I'm sitting here with this light dog, and I've been rubbing him all over my black pants. You're going to be... No hair. You're going to... Oh, no hair. Ooh. Oh, she <laughs> saw her go. owner. Okay, I'm going to let her go. go. Whoa. And then Max wants to now go play with her. Uh, okay. Max, will you stay with us one more second? <laughs> Something to note. <laughs> okay, yeah. Dr. Debbie Turner. Right. Thanks so much. <laughs>